Hey y'all and welcome to Alaska. I've been here for a little less than a week, just finally getting settled in. We had to drive over to Kenai, which is the next biggest city, city, <laughs> that has like a Walmart and a Fred Meyers to be able to get stuff to bring back to finish organizing the RV that we're living in for the summer. For those of you that don't know, I am spending my summer in Alaska. My boyfriend is a fishing guide here in the summertime and has been for a number of years. And I've come and visited him the last two years, but this year he asked if I would come and live with him for the summer. And I said yes, because that's a pretty fun adventure, right? To live in Alaska. A lot of people would love to do this. So of course I jumped at the opportunity. Plus, I need to make a little money, to be totally honest with you. I'm making a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of money from YouTube right now, but my coffers need a little fill-in, and there are plenty of jobs up here, hopefully, to be found. In the meantime, I thought I would take you around and show you what a day in my life so far in Alaska is like, and I hope to continue to be doing these vlogs for you all summer long because Alaska has some pretty cool stuff. couple of years they haven't been coming here so that is the first cruise ship I've seen in Sydney which means this is going to be in case you're wondering I am driving around my car for the summer is Dave's 1992 Ford 350. So it's ginormous and I have to sit on a little cushion in order to reach the pedals. Talk about feeling like Lily Tomlin. And right now the windshield is completely filthy. So all the video I'm showing you has tons of little bug spots. Sorry. Of course, I am not going to stop publishing YouTube videos while I'm in Alaska. I have several travel vlogs that are coming out from our trip to the desert, and I've got some, you know, how to, what you need to know before you go videos in the works as well. So those will be coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those. In the meantime, we're going to keep showing you what life is like living in Alaska in the summer. Ellie, of course, is going to help me there too, but right now she's taking a so Dave promised me a date night tonight and although neither one of us is showering and he's going in his fishing clothes, I am curling my hair for tonight in our tiny little RV bathroom. <laughs> Me on your back. Yeah. Hey, At least I would look like a hero. To do something time. really cool, and that is to go snagging for sockeye. Where are we going, Benelli? We're going snagging. What are we doing? We're going snagging. Snagging. It sounds like something you shouldn't do, but it's actually very legal. Way you head. I don't know. I've never been that way. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of eagles over there, though. Oh yeah. Look at all these people. They're snagging. Yeah, you can go over to that island area and explore back yeah. there. Yeah. 
walk the, up this beach and around. Where the big rock is? Yeah, you could walk like this right here. Walk right around the beach that way, and okay. then you'll only have one little water crossing, and Benelli can get over there and run. Look at all the eagles, too. There's like three, four of them oh, over there. to try to just grab a sockeye fish out of the water. They are allowed to, at this time of year, when the sockeye start to spawn up the Resurrection River, they're allowed to get six fish a day. And it's how a lot of Alaskans end up filling their freezers with salmon for the entire winter. A lot of them end up smoking the salmon, or they give it to friends, or, you know, they just plain eat it. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the other types of salmons, like king salmon, are becoming a little less easy to get. So the sockeye have become a big win for these guys, and that's what they're out there doing tonight. And I'm out here enjoying 